Hi everyone, today I am coming to you naked faced because I've been asked a couple times to show how I do my everyday makeup and that's what I'm going to do today on camera. Um, excuse the hair, cut my hair yesterday or had my hair cut yesterday and sometimes it does like this thing where it stages a protest or goes through the stages of grief or something but eventually it'll come to terms and accept and then it'll be fine. So at the moment it's like a bit whatever. So this is my naked face. I don't wear foundation on a day-to-day -day basis. I'll wear it if I'm like going to church or to an event or um, if I'm filming sit down videos but day-to-day -day I don't wear it. If I do wear foundation it's this one the Rimmel Stay Matte. This is like slightly too dark for me at the moment so yeah. Um, sometimes if I'm a little bit shiny my skin's pretty balanced but recently I was on a supplement that made it kind of oily here and if I'm a bit shiny then I'll use the Rimmel Stay Matte powder but I don't think I need that today. Um, I have pretty good skin overall. This little breakout situation, this is like a major breakout for me, three spots. So sorry that I'm bringing this to you on a day when I have a major breakout but overall my skin's pretty good. It is freckly and um, here I'm quite freckly so I always feel weird wearing too much foundation or too much coverage foundation because then my face looks like a mask compared to my decolletage so yeah I just I think I've never really kind of come to terms with foundation and figured it out I certainly haven't come to terms with concealer like I've never figured concealer out if somebody wants to come and give me a concealer tutorial like on my face with real products that would be great because I watch videos and the ones I've tried I just can't make work so sadly the dark circles and the bags you're gonna have to learn to live with when I do need to conceal like spots I use at the moment I'm using this Revlon product it's the new complexion one step compact makeup and it's like this it's like a cream to powder formula I'm not gonna tell you how old this is because you'll probably want to shout at me but um, I just kind of dab that on and it goes on as a cream and instantly blends to a powder it's amazing um, so I'll just do that to kind of conceal any spots at the end of the day, I'm a human being, I have spots, people need to deal with it. Okay, um, eyes. I use, I've got my brushes here in a little pot with a little mirror standing in front of it. So, of course I can't find my concealer. Uh, oh, right there. I use the e.l.f. eyelid primer in just the natural or whatever. I know it comes in different colours, like yellow and stuff, but no. I just use the flesh tone one and I'll just pop that all over. I have an audience member now who's sitting off camera watching me. Is this interesting? Yeah, it's weird how you like change. Okay, then I go in with a crease shade um, pretty much straight away. I either use this palette, which was super inexpensive. I think this was like 89p or something at Home Bargains. And the color I would use for my crease is the one that's almost finished, sadly. Or a very similar one I have is the Rosewood is the color. I think this is W7. Just really inexpensive, W7 eyeshadow. Like I said, it's Rosewood. And I'll take also a cheap brush. Like I didn't spend a lot of money on makeup because I don't have a lot of money. This brush was, again, Home Bargains. And I'll just sweep that through my crease. I'll go up quite high because I have slightly hooded eyelids. So, for a crease shade, because I have hooded eyelids, this has slightly too much shimmer for my liking, but I love the color, the color's perfect. So until I find a dupe, this is what I'm going with. So I'll, I'll raise my eyebrows to do this because like I said, my eyes are slightly hooded and then I'll drop them and see is there enough color to actually show them. Okay, then I sometimes will darken the outer corner and if I do that then I'll just use a dark brown for example this Makeup Academy one in what is it shade 19 it's a matte one so I'll take the smallest amount and just darken up that corner Okay, if I need to do any blending, I take another inexpensive brush from Home Bargains. You don't need to spend a lot of money, come on. It's just makeup. 
it's just brushes, they're not rocket science. Um, if I'm going to use a blending colour, I'll use this pale one there. I don't even know if that's showing up, this one. It's just like a peach or like a skin tone. Sometimes I'll just blend without anything on the brush and I'll just make sure that line is like, especially here, not too bold. Okay. Um, <clears throat> for the lightest colour, I have a custom mix pigment. And when I say custom mix, I mean I mixed it. This is a little container that I have and I've got like a champagne shimmer pigment in there. And I mixed it from this natural collection white shimmer it's called starburst again a million years ago and this one which i found at a market for 50p and i mix the two together and get this lovely kind of champagne shimmer it's probably not going to be able to i'm not going to be able to see but if i get compliments on looking really well it's when i wear this which who doesn't want that okay so the brush i use is a qvs one from the pharmacy just like a flat shader brush and I'll just pop that in there, tap off the excess, and press it on. I'll go right into the corner, and I'll make sure the edges are a little bit blended. And if I do that, what I've just done, and it's not very blended there, I'll go back in with my blending brush. Okay, so that's that for eyeshadow. And then I'll do brows next, I think. My brows, what do I use for my brows? Oh, I use the same Makeup Academy matte dark brown eyeshadow. I've tried lighter shadows and they just look like I've got shadow on my brows, whereas this is the exact color of the hairs of my brows. So it just kind of fills in, I mean, I've got dark brows, but they, they're not very full. So this just kind of fills in like a shadow in between them. I just take, I just kind of like pat my brush in it and at the top my eyebrows kind of want to dip there. I just go straight up. This brush by the way is an eyeliner brush from e.l.f. I think it's pretty big for an eyeliner but it's perfect as an eyebrow brush. So yeah, straight across the top, straight up the, what do you call it, arch. Go back in for a little bit more and straight down. Sorry if I'm trembling, I haven't had breakfast and I'm pretty hungry and I think my blood sugar's dropped. Straight down, okay. Okay, so, you know what they say about your eyebrows? They don't have to look like twins, but they do need to be sisters. Ooh, they kind of match. This is the one I raised. Okay, now I always wear eyeliner because without it, I just feel like there's something missing. Um, eyeliner, I use either the Jordana Quick Liner, which is like five bucks at the dollar store, or what is not here, but I mentioned in my March favorites, which is my e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen. Or today I'm actually going to put on the e.l.f. cream liner, it's like a gel liner and this one is, I think it's coffee the shade, it's just the brown one. And I have this little eyeliner brush which was pennies at, um, where was it from? I can't remember. From like a department store in England. Okay, so I just swirl on some. Hold my eye because I'm getting old and my eyes are getting creepy. And I usually start about in the middle or just inside the middle and just give it a sweep. And then I go in and do this bit. I like the brown because it's not as bold for daytime look. And then I'll make sure to fill in that corner and make sure that it's right up under my lashes. And sometimes I'll do a wing or a flick. Sometimes I won't. I did one for you today. And then what's left on the brush, I'll just kind of go underneath. Sometimes I'll smudge it out if it needs. Is that interesting now? It completely changes how you look. Yeah. Makeup. 
I love this stuff. It's amazing. And when, when it's on, you can smudge it, but then once it's set, it's set. And Elf is so inexpensive. Okay, not feeling the wings today. Especially because this mirror is at a different angle that I'm used to. So I can just kind of smudge it a bit if I'm not feeling. But honestly, today I'm doing garden work, so my makeup does not need to look amazing. Okay, see so I've got some eyeshadow for now. Right, I have no tissue. Normally I have tissue and I kind of clean off my brush. It's fine, no thanks, I'll just clean it later. Okay, so mascara. I'm using the Buxom. It was a sample that my friend Leek sent me. Thank you, Leek. I'm actually really enjoying it. And I just use what's on the brush to do everything. I don't kind of go back in and refill. And I seldom curl my eyelashes. Sometimes I will, but I don't know if it makes that much difference. I've got pretty good lashes. They're curly and they oh, fairly long. Sometimes I go wonky because I sleep with a sleep mask on. And sometimes if my eyelashes are like pressed up against the sleep mask, I'll wake up and they'll be like, oh. I like really separated, defined lashes. I don't like clumpy lashes. So if it clumps, I'll go over and over and I'll be like, no. Or I'll take a spoolie and separate them. Get all the bottom ones. Mascara makes such a difference. Mascara and lipstick, because as you can see, I have no visible lips when I have no lipstick on, because my lips are the same color as my skin. I don't know how flattering this lighting is, but it is what it is. Okay, so that's eyes and eyebrows done. Blush. Um, tch, tch, tch. Oh, I was going to say, for this colour, the like shimmer colour, I'm, I'm like plowing through this stuff. There's almost none left, and I'm like panicking that I can't get the colour right if I mix some more. In fact, I don't have very much of the white left. So, sometimes, especially if I'm just not going anywhere, I'll use this. It's the Lalu. Earth Dune collection that my sister gave me and I'll use this top shade that's just like a goldy shimmer color okay blush I love this for just really natural glowy blush it's the earth the earth the elf contouring blush and bronzing powder and as you can see I haven't touched the bronzer because I never ever bronze I don't like how it looks on me yeah I'm not a big bronzer fan but anyway the blush I love it's kind of like a peachy it's got a gold shimmer in it lovely or I use, at the moment I'm into this Rimmel one, it's called Berry, shade 031. It's also got a slight, like a satin shimmer to it, it hasn't got any sort of glitter or reflex. Just a, it's just slightly deeper peachy like earthy colour. Or if I go straight up pink, which I like because I've got pink undertones to my skin, it suits me. Um, I've got the Makeup Academy blush in shade 2, which is just like a baby pink really. Why it's got it... a very faint glittery shimmer in it. Very faint but it's not like boom on your cheeks. Why doesn't it fall out when you hold it up? Because it's packed, it's baked in there. Ah, okay. okay and I use my e.l.f. blush brush for that and I think I'll just go with this one and I just kind of like rub the tip in and then swirl it on my apples and further out. I think everybody over 30 should be wearing blush. It's the game changer, honestly. When I started wearing blush, I was like, I look alive. This is amazing. I don't know how that's showing up on camera. I'm gonna like go all out. So that's my blush. And then the other thing that just makes the biggest difference for me, is that lighting still right? Um, looks like kind of It looks a bit bright. Can you just, one moment, please. Okay, sorry about that. If the sun's rising, I'm doing this really early in the morning, so, well, it's really early for me. What's the time? It's half eight. Okay, it's not that early, but the sun's coming up and the light's getting brighter and whatever. So, I'm gonna finish up with lipstick today. I'm gonna wear Asia by Rimmel. It's the lasting finish one that I talked about in my March favorites. This is like, it came up really pink in my March favorites. It's more like a nude. It's not all that pink. It's like a brownie pinky, anyway.
So that's that. And then I'm going to go on top with, I'm not mad about a matte lip. It just flashes me right back to the 90s with that Revlon color stay matte and it looked like you're, you were dead. Um, so not into the matte lip. Probably get into it like late to the party, but I prefer a glossy lip. So I've got the Gemma Kid Gloss in Coral. And I just put a little bit on that because I don't like gloopy lips either. And that is my everyday makeup look. Hope you enjoyed that. Maybe it was helpful. And I'll see you next time.